Good morning to everyone. It's another cold, cloudy morning. A uh, bit drizzly again, but I'm um, out. And I decided to come up to the area around Kokomoya Dam, Honeyguard area, just to follow up on reports of some wild dogs that were seen here yesterday afternoon. Um, and a bit surprised to bump into the Mbiri Pride. I'm right here at Kokomoya Dam. And they are still with the young males. So they've moved quite a long way in the last 24 hours. They're all resting here. Had quite a long night, judging by the tracks, they've moved quite a long way and they've moved through areas where they've looked to hunt things like wildebeest and zebra. Uh, they moved through big open plains. When I first saw some of the tracks, I first thought it might be the open males that uh, might be moving through here, but it's obviously one of these uh, younger males tracks that, uh, that I saw there. But yeah, they've uh, been, not been successful. They've moved quite a long way. And I'm just resting it off now. But it's a good place to, to hang out, even though we've had a bit of rain. Animals will still come towards the dam. And uh, maybe they get lucky in trying to catch something here. They'll just wait in ambush. Just shows again how far these females are traveling. They pretty much now taken over the Corpus Pride territory and they'll range all the way from Tinswalo Lodge up to Skybeds. Pretty much the original area that they first came in through, these um, the elder and berry lionesses when this pride first moved into the Manuleti, they were more around the Skybeds, Corpus area. They're sort of just utilizing their old range. gives me an idea that maybe the open males are not around here they might still be closer to that main dam side so I'll definitely go and check there this morning as well I'm sure if those males were close by and roaring these young males probably would have moved away from the females going to spend too much time here we had a very nice sighting of them on Wednesday so I'm going to carry on my search for these wild dogs but always nice to bump into these guys Very excited to have found what looks like a jackal den here. You can see a little pup, and just to the left of it, you can see that excavated earth. So, the den is usually a burrow system. There's one pup at the entrance here, there's another pup running off to the right here, just busy exploring. But yeah, I love jackals, so this is a great find. Mother jackals will have anywhere between sort of two and four pups. Still see very young, maybe about a month, just over a month old. Which are a great find. I'll definitely be back here in the next few days.
Well, finally, after a lot of searching this morning, finally managed to find these dogs, which is great news. We're closer to the central part of the reserve now, closer to Main Dam. So these dogs have moved quite a big distance. We're up in a open clearing here, an area known as Marilla Ridge. We'll have a good count of how many dogs are here, how many adults, how many pups. See if we can see which pack this is. It'll be one of two packs, either the Ngala pack or the Hamilton's pack, which we saw about a month ago near Pod Mahogany. It's too far north for it to be the Pungwe pack. You can see the pups here, five pups. I've counted only five pups. A lot of adults there, all lying about in the grass here. It does look to me like it might be the, the Hamilton's pack, the pack that we saw around uh, Pod Mahogany, like I said, about a month ago. That female with that tear, that, that uh, missing part of her ear, looks very familiar. Alpha female. If I recall, there we had seven pups. Uh, when I last saw them, so I wonder if they've lost two. I haven't eaten this morning, that's quite unusual this time of the year with all the impala lambs out. It's quite easy pickings for these dogs. At the moment you sometimes even see them taking out quite a few impala lambs in one hunt throughout their inner herd. Lilac breasted roller with us here with the wild dogs. It's breakfast. Insect of some sorts. As you can hear, not the most beautiful call. But you can't have everything, eh? So I just found something interesting. I just saw one of the rollers actually move away from that cavity. And you can actually hear the chicks inside the nest there. So that's what rollers do. They do nest in cavities. They don't act, make an actual nest or build a nest. They sort of uh, renovate cavities. And that's their nest there. So I'm just going to wait here and see if the adults come back. They'll obviously go out and look for food. And then they'll bring it up to the chicks here. How's that for a well-hidden, safe, secure nest? It'd be very difficult for a predator to try and find the chicks in there. Very good spot chosen by the parents. Another great sighting of not a common species out here. These are two common reedbuck. I hope the wild dogs don't come here later because we really don't see a lot of these antelope out here. Wow, really big pregnant female hyena. 
she's just sniffing around here and the squirrels are going berserk either side of me so I'm just going to take some time to see if there's anything here you never know maybe there's a leopard that was moving through here or I'll just check the trees nicely see if there's anything hanging up in a tree What a great way for us to finish the drive here at Ingbermanzi. Nice big herd of male buffalo coming down to drink. Big herd of elephants now also moving across in the background.